Are you dreaming of starting your own business, but fear is holding you back? I was like that too. And it took burning out in my job to finally take the plunge into entrepreneurship. And I'm so glad I did it because now I work less, but earn more. I have a six figure online business and I've earned between 10K and 51K profit per month. It's been astounding and totally life changing and I wish I did it sooner. Every day I come across people who are stuck in a job, but they'd love to have their own business. They've got the desire, they've got the skills, but they don't take the plunge. So I was speaking to a guy recently who does solar energy sales. So as far as his communication skills, his people skills, and even his business development skills, he has them all there, but he's only earning a commission. Now the commission he earns is a very small amount compared to the amount of money he makes for the company he works for. So if he put those skills into a business, and especially into the business that I do, oh my gosh, the 50K months would definitely be possible. There's no limit when you work for yourself. But the thing is, his fears are stopping him from starting his own business. So let's look at how to break through that and to not let a job or other fears keep you hemmed down. Firstly, understand your fear. Have you felt any of these? Fear of failure. Fear of losing money. Fear of not knowing what might happen. Fear of choosing the wrong business. Fear of what others might say. Fear of not having the skills or experience to run a successful business. Fear of putting effort into a business and then not making any money. One of my fears is that I was going to lose everything that I'd worked for. I desperately wanted to be my own boss, but I was used to earning a wage and it seemed way too scary to leave my job income and start something new where there's no income guaranteed. And that's why I started my business whilst having a job. It meant there was no risk and I didn't have to worry about the bills that needed to be paid. It took the pressure off and it gave me time to learn business and how to be a successful entrepreneur. When the pandemic hit and we were in lengthy lockdowns, my husband lost his job and that was our main income source. I had this business and I'd earn 10K to 50K a month from it, but I was treating it like a hobby. So when he lost his job, I was worried that we would lose everything that we had worked for. The house, the car, everything. So I decided to start doing the business more consistently. And I did another 51K profit month and a 26K profit month and it saved us. We are forever grateful that we have this business and an independent income stream, not relying on a job. What are you worried about or scared of? Please let me know in the comments and I will do a video about it specifically for you. Drawing on my experience and how I have overcome the fears to move from a job to self-employment and how I have overcome doubts and self-belief to succeed as an entrepreneur. Remember, every aspiring entrepreneur has had fears. And breaking through them will not only affect your entrepreneurial journey, but it will affect other areas of your life too, because you have shown yourself that you can feel the fear, but take action anyway. Secondly, what are some practical steps to overcome fear? Identify the fear. And if you are unsure, just brainstorm, write ideas of what it might be. It doesn't have to be right or wrong. It's more about the feeling the reaction you're having in your mind and body because of the fear or risk. Journal about what's coming up for you. Your thoughts, your worries, your doubts, your concerns, and the things that keep you awake at night. Release it physically. Find a way to acknowledge the fear and release it from your being. Accept it, welcome it, and then see it leaving and healing. It is no longer a part of you. Flick the switch. You can choose to stop a thought and see it another way. We get what we focus on. Brain rehearsal. This is more than visualization. This is what athletes use before a race or a game so that they can rehearse what they want to happen at that moment. So feel it in every sense of your body, your sight, your sound, your taste, your smell, all of your senses. You are who you surround yourself with. Learn from successful people. Get stuck into books and watch videos. There's so many autobiographies you can look at and that's the person speaking from their experience, their feelings of how they have overcome something big in their life. So it's up to you what you read, but I love learning from people where they're actually sharing with you their story and how they've overcome. They're not just talking about theory. Look for ways to feel your fear and have it as your ally. Thirdly, 
mindset and motivation. Your mindset is a key to your success as an entrepreneur. There are so many new things to learn and many hurdles along the way. However, staying true to your mission will help you be resilient and to not give up. It is important to be around those who have the entrepreneurial mindset because they think differently to those who are in jobs. Some people never aspire to have their own business and their fears and doubts can easily influence you to not follow your dreams. The only way to fulfill your destiny is to step out of the comfort zone and away from the norm. About 7% of people are entrepreneurs. So being a successful entrepreneur is the minority and it takes guts and mindset to succeed. I have a Mind Power Bootcamp it is seven days, amazing sessions, and it's free. Oh my gosh, this will completely change your life and feel free to share it with your friends, your family, everyone. So go to the link in the comments, get your Mind Power Bootcamp. To go from earning 10K to 51K a month, it was all about mindset. I knew I had to work on my limiting beliefs, past failures, fears, and doubts, and acknowledge the shackles that have been holding me back all of my life. I knew I had to be a different person and have a different identity in order to be a profitable entrepreneur and to earn the big bucks. I got stuck into the personal development and entrepreneurial products of my business to break through. And I'm connected with a great community too. Taking a good look at myself and addressing my thoughts, beliefs and actions was a liberating and freeing experience for me. And it means I broke through in business but also in my health, relationships, and lifestyle. I saw life in a completely different way, and I saw things are possible. It was empowering, rather than living in lack and feeling that I had no choice. It's all about how you see yourself and what you think you are worthy of. Just 15 minutes a day of personal development will transform your life. Consistency is the key, and you'll feel stronger and more alive every day that you do personal development. So get the free Mind Power Bootcamp and make sure you subscribe so that you're getting regularly fed with this brilliance, with this breaking through, with this entrepreneurial mindset. Fourthly, taking the first step. Don't just learn about business, learn about entrepreneurship too. When looking for a business, don't rush into something. Do your research, check things out thoroughly, ask questions, look at the people as well as the products and profit, get expert advice. It's worth paying for quality advice or coaching, but it has to be from the right person. Someone who really knows what they're doing and they have the success on the board already. Trust your gut and your instinct. Test your idea, do market research. See if it's desirable and viable. Do a business plan and marketing plan. How will you find customers? What will your pricing and profit be? What is your distribution process? Learn marketing and learn from the best. Don't just pay someone to do it. There are so many companies around that will get you no results. Do some training yourself so that you have awareness of the marketing methods and how they work. You don't need to be an expert, but at least make sure you have foundational knowledge because it means your marketing efforts are amplified and more effective. Remember the first step is the hardest, so start today. Write a list of your action steps and ideas and take action today. A little bit of effort towards this every day will see you progress towards your dream and you will feel great about yourself too. I have other videos with more in-depth info about the steps to take too. Let me know any questions you have, Put them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them for you and help in any way I can. I'd love to save you the time and hassle and the stress when choosing a business to start. I have a free guide on how to choose a profitable business. So it goes through all the different questions to ask yourself, to ask the business that you're looking at, and it also goes through online business models and how they work and the pros and cons of each. I encourage you to watch my next video on the top four traits of successful entrepreneurs. I'll see you there.